Gaffer, how's training been this week? Uh, yeah, good. Um, obviously, we've got some new lads to integrate into the group. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's always testing when you're adding as many players as we've added across the window. It feels as if one's sort of getting added every other day, so which is good in, in some senses, but always try to get messages across and then sort of sometimes feel as if I'm repeating myself because obviously the new lads haven't heard any of the stuff that we're doing. So, But yeah, the lads are in good space. I think winning the last game was good for us and obviously we've got a really difficult game at the weekend, so we're looking forward to that. In your opinion, how's the group sort of functioning and, and settling now? It's been obviously a few weeks with the new players coming in. Yeah, I think it starts to uh, get better every session. Everybody starts to understand everybody's qualities and, you know, I feel like we really... Um, start to understand of course a lot of the guys or not a lot but a few guys like know each other from last season and stuff like this but of course there are a lot of new players so yeah it's been a little bit sometimes difficult to know what a person's gonna do or you know what to expect from somebody but I think like now we have a good two three weeks with each other and I think new players are still coming and of course I feel like we can still grow in that part but um, I feel like everybody's really knowing each other and knows what to expect from each other and yeah that, that's good and then, like what I said I think it can only get better and you know. Mehdi obviously speaks really good English, um, really lovely lad you know he's got vast experience playing at a really high level in Italy, um, international player so yeah he, he's going to settle in really well. I think Georgie is obviously just a young lad, um, doesn't speak the language anywhere near as well so, yeah, he's going to take a little bit longer. We're going to have to do a lot of work with him on the pitch and off the pitch. Um, but he's, he's an extremely talented kid. So it's one of them ones where, um, as we spoke about, across the window, we're going to sign a lot of players for the here and now. But I think we need to make sure that the future for Stoke in the next few seasons are going to be taken care of as well. And, and um, some of the lads will fall into that bracket. Whilst talking about the squad, how are things looking on the injury front? Uh, yeah, fine. OK, uh, Ty Campbell's trained this week. So we'll make a decision on him today after the session. And yeah, I think Lewis Baker's really the only one in terms of long term that we've had since pre-season. But beyond that, I think we're, well, most of the lads are fine. How much are you enjoying playing at the Bet365 Stadium? Feels like it's going well at home. Yeah, uh, yeah, I love it. The fans uh, are always uh, backing us, the team, but me as a player as well. Um, so that always gives a confident boost and um, yeah, I feel like we started off good at home, like three games at home, three wins, so yeah, that's good and hopefully we can continue that throughout the whole season, that we will be a strong team at home. Um, you know, I, I, t I told it when I signed as well, you know, it was a big part uh, of me, he wants to come back because, you know, I feel, uh, you know, that they appreciate me being here and as a player, so yeah, I wanted to come back to, yeah, for the fence as well. A tactical understanding, I guess it benefits you having been here before, but it feels like the manager yeah. really sort of uh, gives you an important role in the team and you're benefiting from that. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely, like um, the manager uh, is in, uh, I think tactical is very clear, um, you know, I think uh, he explains everything very clear and if we do that and of course sometimes it's difficult in the game you know different um, different things come to play but I feel like whenever he says something and we we do it like it and we do it with quality we we probably win every game and um, but yeah that's football and th it will not always happen of course but uh, yeah I feel like tactical it's really clear I think that the lack of sort of versatility we had last season was a hindrance for us you know we spoke about it a lot throughout, the, throughout last season um, this year I feel as if we've got a lot more variety we can flip from system to system without really having a compromise in terms of quality um, but also understanding you know and so I think being unpredictable and being flexible I think is really important in the championship because um, a lot of good coaches a lot of good teams out there and we want to make sure that when we go somewhere, we've got a really good understanding of what we're doing, um, but also keep the opponent guessing as to how we're going to set up. It's Millwall next up tomorrow. What sort of game are you expecting from them? Tough one, really tough one. You know, I think that every good team, when you lose a game and you maybe don't perform as well as you can, I think that hurts you. And I think you want to put it right in the next game. So I think they're a really dangerous opponent. I, th I think for a whole host of aspects, it, it, it's going to be a difficult game. 
I think going to the den at the best of times is always tough. Um, so we, we, we know we know what's coming, we know it's going to be a tough game, we just need to try and perform as well as we can. Quite a few occasions I feel like, I feel like sometimes we might need to be a little bit uh, more controlling in the game. That wasn't the case in the Ipswich game, I feel like what we learned from the game was that you know if somebody doesn't do their job well it's like a domino process and then basically the whole um, tactic side of the game what we spoke about falls apart and I feel also like um, just winning uh, individual battles I feel like even though the tactical side is really important in in this league I feel like it starts with like the battles if you don't win your battles it's gonna be a tough game so I think we uh, we reminded that to ourselves that game like you know guys even though we might not even do the tacticals well we don't win the battles as well and that made it a difficult game and finally it's one year in charge for yourself on monday how yeah. would you reflect on your first year at stoke city um oh it feels it feels a lot longer but it also feels really quick at the same time i mean i just think there's so much happened um in such a short space and time obviously we knew last year was going to be the end of a cycle, shall we say? It was that was testing at times. I think the the amount of work and the amount of sort of hope and optimism. I think I believe we've got now as a club. I think's in a good place. I think we've we've tried to add a lot to the squad. There's been a hell of a lot of changes on and off the pitch. Um, so yeah, it's been really enjoyable. It's been everything I thought it would be, if that makes sense. So I knew that um, the job at hand, and I knew the opportunity that I was going to get to to try and rebuild the squad and rebuild the club and, and, and help as far as I could in that respect. Um, so yeah, really enjoyable. I'm hoping this next part's going to be the best part though.